I'm up here again checking my wolf traps. So far, they're all empty. I've got a couple more to check, and I don't know. There's no sign. I don't. I don't know what's happened. I think they've maybe moved lower because they were coming through here every now and again, but um, I haven't seen anything now for a week or so, a couple of weeks. But I got to thinking about it, and all the trappers and things out there that use snowshoes. I come up with a pair of bindings that I copied off of uh, the Russian hunter ski style. I really like these. This is my first year trying them. Uh, all I did here is I put them on with Ziplocs, or not Ziplocs, um, what do you call those? Cable ties, zip ties. And uh, it's really a simple design. It's just a, a folded over piece of leather. I made it fairly wide so it doesn't twist back and forth. It's lace adjustable, although I probably should have uh, uh, put a few more holes in it and made them a little, a little further apart. But uh, I'll show you how these work. These work really nice because I was born without a hip socket. I, I don't bend very well. And I have a real hard time with buckles and things, especially if they're down low to try to reach my feet but if I, if I stand on one of them you can kick your foot into it and get the first one started and if I step over like so and kind of block it from sliding you can kick your foot into the other one you might have to kind of cram it a little into the snow but once they're on they stay on pretty well you don't have to worry too badly about uh oh here we go that looks like a bobcat track hmm see him right there i don't know if it'll show up very good or not maybe i got him down by my traps that would be nice but looks like he yeah he went on down the trail anyhow um the only thing you gotta worry about with these is if you're If you're in uphill areas or deep snow or especially if it's got a crust in it you can step out of them pretty easily and fall down but anyway they work pretty well as you can see this deer went far down further into the snow than what I'm doing I've got kind of a trail made here though yeah, that bobcat is going straight for my straight for my traps yeah. I guess I'll walk on down and see if he's in the first one. If he hits any of them, that'd be the one he'd be in. Kind of betting not, but maybe. I'm always surprised when I catch something, actually. <laughs> surprised to have one of him in there. I like my triggers up on the wolf traps for catching wolves that want eight pounds of tension on the, on the pan. Montana, I think, actually requires it to be ten pounds. Idaho doesn't have any requirements on it. Since the wolves haven't been coming around, uh, I've missed a few coyotes that have stepped right onto the pan and not sprung it. I decided I'd lighten up the, lighten them up a little bit and maybe pick up a coyote or a bobcat or something. Uh, last year I got a fox and a bobcat in, in two of them, and a coyote this year. But no wolves. I got one back in March, and that's about all. Last season. further down here than what I thought it was, but I think I'm gaining. Well, there's a lot of deer tracks up here still, so I kind of thought maybe the wolves would still be here. I've seen a few elk, but very few. There's not as much snow up here by a long ways as there was last year, but uh, 
I don't know. I don't think it's enough to drive the wolves down, but they don't seem to be here for whatever reason. And looks like that bobcat turned off my trail here. It's one of the reasons for the snowshoes, even though the snow isn't that deep, it leaves a good trail for animals to follow. And it doesn't look like people tracks. So I put them on even if it's not very deep. This is where my my trap is. I have that kind of a dirt hole set there. It's mainly collapsed now. It's late in the season now, but my trap should be right here. Let's see if it's froze down. Doesn't seem to be. Well, I'll leave it alone and maybe a wolf will still come by or a bobcat or coyote. This is where I got the deer the other day is down that hill. Hopefully I don't have any more of them ever again. <laughs> anyway, that's it for today.